the interesting thing about how I got into music in the first place was that um, <clears throat> I loved the Lucy show, I Love Lucy, right? But they wouldn't let me watch it because it was past my bedtime, really. And when was that? You know, at 8 o'clock or something ridiculous like that? Okay. And they said, you know, we'll let you watch it if you take piano lessons. No, really? Piano lessons? Oh, I hate the piano. Well, no Lucy. Lucy, piano. No Lucy, no piano. <laughs> okay. So that was that. And I started taking piano lessons and started to understand a little bit more about music. I kind of instinctively, maybe gen genetically, took up the drums as well, not the serious, you know, percussion uh, mallet instruments or timpani, but just drum set, you know. And I uh, was a, you know, a pretty good rock and roller uh, drummer, rock and roll drummer. Um, but I also thought, oh, the schlepping around drums, that's not fun. How about a nice little instrument that fits in a case and you can just, you know, uh, all right, which one will that be? The flute? No, too boring. Clarinet? Uh, everyone plays the clarinet. How about the oboe? The oboe? Wow, that's really a little more interesting, perhaps. So, started in with that and like that. And uh, found a teacher in New York who also taught at Juilliard and was very helpful when I did my audition for Juilliard. He was on the jury or the, the people who, you know, listen to the applicants. Um, um, there was a, uh, I was the first oboe player in the New York All City Orchestra. And we would play a concert every year at Lincoln Center. And there would inevit inevitably be an oboe solo that, mm, excuse me, that, you know, I played and I did okay with that. And I'm thinking, New York City, high school, first oboe player, getting into Juilliard, no problem. Go up to Juilliard and I'm in a hallway w waiting my turn to go play my audition piece, which was just piano and oh, piano accompaniment. And uh, I'm meeting all these other people from all over the world, uh, oboe players. And everyone's taking out their oboes and warming up. And I'm listening. I'm thinking, you are kidding me. These, uh, this, and I was completely, I thought, you know, New York City, first oboe has to be, I'm, I have to be the best. Not even close. So there must have been 20 of us. And I was probably maybe number 18 or something like that. You know, they didn't, you never knew what the, ratings were, but I think I just kind of snuck in there. And that was sort of the beginning of thinking, oh, I don't like this. I'm going to pick up my marbles and go play somewhere else. <laughs> so, but I got in. And the experience of being there wasn't so much the school as it was what was going on in New York musically at the time, which was just fantastic. There were concerts every night, sometimes two, three, four concerts a night, everywhere. Different, you know, combinations, different uh, orchestras, chamber music, music avant-garde, baroque, classical, violin solo, piano recital, I mean everything. The most, you know, eclectic, you know, plus, plus all the pop stuff going on. It was uh, and I had mo you know, moved out of Brooklyn to uh, get, you know, I had an apartment up on the Upper West Side and uh, uh, with Michael Kamen, roommates. And um, so that time was like, it wasn't so much what I learned at, at Juilliard as much as what I just immersed myself in. You know, if I heard a piece of Stravinsky or Ravel or Shostakovich or, you know, whatever, Bach, something or other, Mozart, whatever, 
I made it my business to go to the library and find the score and say, how did he do that? That's amazing. And then I'd, I'd bring it home, I'd listen to the recording, and I'd watch the notes go by. I'd say, wow, that's it. Uh-huh. Well, that doesn't seem too hard, I guess. Uh, but I really, no one had to tell me to do that. You know, I would hear something and just be so taken by it. You know, like anyone's first time hearing some great music who's involved in, in music and wondering, wow, what, what does this look like on paper? And so that was, that was a big deal for me.